I'm 59 years old and I'll be 60 in less than a month. And I realized that I need to start over. I've started over several times in my life. I've been married twice and divorced twice. I've moved more times than I can count. And all of these times required me to start over. I've wanted to change my career many, many times. And I was a graphic designer and art director for over 30 years. I went to art college and I really enjoyed my career. I really enjoyed what I did. But after a while, I think the stress and the fast pace and the competitiveness got to me, especially working in ad agencies. I worked at this company for I think about four years and I really loved it. It was a great job. I learned a lot. I really kind of thrived in the beginning. However, it was tons and tons of work. I worked long hours. I worked at home on the weekends coming up with concepts or design ideas. I would take my computer home at night and it just became exhausting. At this point, my mom's health started to deteriorate and she uh, moved in with me, I think for about a year or so, until she got so bad that I couldn't take care of her anymore by myself. So we put her into a really nice assisted living place and there she got a lot more care. So I was visiting her every day. The commute there and back from work was about three hours a day. Every day would go visit my mom and have to get my daughter. I have a teenage, at that time she's just started uh, her freshman year in high school. All of this was going on as well as working in this hustle bustle fast paced ad agency. At this point, I decided I'm going to start looking for another job closer to home so that I could not have that three hour commute and that would be a lot less pressure and, you know, that way we could still, you know, see my mom every day. So I found another job at an ad agency and then at about six months later, lockdown because of COVID happened and shortly after my mom passed. And then about a month later, I got laid off. So these two tragic events happen all at once, not to mention the lockdown of COVID. It was a really difficult time of my life and at that point, I was 56 years old. And I spent a lot, you know, I spent that time at home in lockdown, grieving for my mom and grieving for my identity as a designer and wondering what, what to do next. How was I going to survive? A single mom, 56 years old, a teenage daughter at home. So I took some freelance work and worked remotely. I also checked uh, online sites such as indeed.com for job openings. I even applied for a, an, a library assistant job in which I had to take like a special test with over a hundred people. I passed the test and was put on the waiting list and you know, nothing came of that. I also started looking on YouTube and seeing what other things I could do. And I just felt like what, what kind of 
job could I do? You know, here I am, middle age, past middle age, I guess, <laughs> at 56. And um, how could I start over? How could I start over a new career? Who would take me? What could I do? And it was through YouTube where I discovered the career of reselling. And so I now own my own small business and I thrift vintage and modern clothing and I sell it online and in person. So I was able to start my own business by doing something that I really love, which is thrifting. And for me, that kind of falls in line with the Japanese concept of ikigai, which translated means the reason to live. I think when we find a reason to live, we don't want to end up with a career that we don't enjoy. <laughs> and I think that's why I went into art school. That's why I studied design. And now, you know, I'm focusing on thrifting. So this concept of Ikigai encourages people to find what truly matters in their lives. And what truly matters is to be happy and fulfilled in our careers, in our social lives, in our how we help people. And basically, you know, how we take care of ourselves. And I think finding a career that we enjoy is so, so important, which is especially important for me because I am older and closer to retiring. So now it's been three years since I started my business and I'm still enjoying it. I'm learning and growing every day. I'm trying to get better at it and become um, more efficient with my time, trying to make more money, more sales. And so, you know, that's something that I focus a lot of time and energy on. So what are things that I want to start over right now at almost age 60? One thing that I discovered was that I was totally neglecting my health. And I recently stepped on the scale and I was shocked at how much weight I had gained. So I planned to really focus on taking care of my health. So I need to lose some weight, exercise, and work on um, taking better care. So now I'm much more mindful about what I'm eating. And also I'm the kind of person who needs to weigh myself uh, pretty frequently because if I don't weigh myself like I haven't done in over a year is that it's almost like out of sight, out of mind. So that way I keep my health journey in the front of my mind. You know, as far as exercising, I recently joined the gym. So I joined the gym with my oldest daughter, Kelsey, and her husband, Justin. And so my daughter and I have been taking a women's weightlifting class. And it's been really challenging because I realized that I have no muscles right now. Is that too heavy? Do you want to use these plates instead? And um, muscles and weightlifting is very important for all of us, but especially for people who are, you know, getting older. And the other thing that I'm taking is a hip hop class because I love to dance and dance, dancing brings me joy. Even though I'm almost in my 60s, I don't care. I don't care what I look like. I want to go out and have fun and if dancing hip-hop brings me joy then that's what I'm gonna do. There's an opportunity to perform with the class at a very large street fair and so I did let the teacher know that I would 
I would like to do the performance as well. I'm pretty nervous about this because, you know, <laughs> I'm not very good. And I'm old, but I'm not going to worry about that. And I'm just going to go and do it. And I think the fact that there there is this performance, it gives me something to work towards. So I'm pretty excited about that. And, and that'll be in a few, a couple of months. Another thing is that my best friend Denise and I joined a Japanese drumming group called Asobi Taiko. And we get together once a week and we practice drumming with a, a group of women every Sunday. And we've been doing this for almost a year now. So this group only practices together and we don't perform. However, we're going to do our first performance at our open house that's coming up in about three months or so from now. So that's another um, opportunity for performing, which I'm a little nervous about. also going to need to learn how to be a grandma because my oldest daughter Kelsey and her husband Justin are going to have a baby and it's coming up pretty soon <laughs> so there's a lot of things that a lot of new things that are happening so this is a really great time for me to be doing a start over to be focusing on pursuing things that are purposeful and brings me joy. I really wanted to make this video because I was turning 60 and I wanted to talk about my experiences of starting over and how it has shaped and changed my life in a really positive way. The reasons for starting over may not have been the most ideal reasons. They might have been really terrible reasons. But with the start over, there's always the possibility of, of something even better. So I think what's important for us to remember is that we shouldn't be afraid of failing. And we shouldn't be afraid of being a beginner at something. When we start over, we're beginning something new and fresh. And this is the time to learn and grow. And learning and growing is something that will always give us purpose and meaning in our lives. And I think having always having purpose and meaning in our lives will keep us relevant. I almost feel like and I'm sure this is not true for everyone, but my mom was a hairdresser and she had her own business and she loved what she did and she was very good at it. She retired at age 80 and she retired because she said, I don't think it looks proper for an 80 year old to be working. I I thought, mom, you should keep doing it while you can, you know, because I know you really love working. But she's like, no, no, you know, 80 year olds shouldn't be working. <laughs> so, you know, she, she retired and she had a year of retirement in which 
she did very little. She ended up spending most of the day watching TV. And after a year, that's when she got really sick. I don't know. I just feel like that's the part of keeping and staying vibrant and current and keeping our relevance in life because we keep our purpose and that keeps us going. I hope that if there's something that you really want to pursue that will make you feel fulfilled and bring you joy, I hope you'll start over.